How's it going everyone? David from DOD Media. Today we're going to be having a look at tracking in After Effects. Now, not using the conventional tracker that's built into After Effects, but instead using a free included, already installed on your machine plugin called Mocha AECC. Now, there's nothing wrong with the conventional tracker and it has a lot of options that Mocha doesn't. But the problem is it takes forever to track. It, even on a powerful machine like I've got, it takes so long to turn through each individual frame, whereas Mocha just like literally just glides through it. And I'll tell you why, but first let's, uh, let's spin that intro. All right, so if you're not familiar with the conventional tracker, let me show you very quickly just a, just a basic run through of how it works. I'm going to track motion. It's going to open up this window. I'm just going to change that frame size and then move this up to an item that I want to track. Let's say that sticker on my flash trigger. OK, then I'm going to right click. I'm going to create a null object or an item or solid or whatever you want to track it to as a target. Edit target, null one, null two. There we go, I've already made a null before, so null two. Now you can track position, rotation, scale. I'm just gonna go for position because it only requires one point. Rotation and scale requires two points to track from. Takes even longer. So, with all that done, just hit play. Sorry, I just forgot to purge my cache so it doesn't completely undermine everything I'm about to show you. Um, when you're ready and have everything set up, you just hit play and it will just work its way through that clip fairly slowly, let's say. Let's say it's, let's say it's fairly slowly. Okay, and then when you're done, you hit apply, X and Y, lovely, and now that null object tracks that sticker. Now, as I said, there's nothing wrong with the conventional tracker. It's, it's very good and it has its you know, brilliant uses, um, but because it takes so long and is not always that accurate, uh, there's always a little bit of pixel shifting in it. Uh, instead, instead what I'm going to do is just control Z all of that. Let's just delete motion trackers. Lovely. Instead, what I'm going to do is come up to my effects and presets, come down to Boris Effects Mocha, which you should have installed on After Effects if you're running After Effects CC. And just add Mocha AECC to your clip and it'll open up this little window in your effects controls. Now, if you launch Mocha, this panel will show up. And this is a very nice, clean, easy interface to use. Let me show you how it works. First of all, you come up along here to your tools. You select what kind of tool you need. If you're tracking a square or a circle, well, then you can use a square or a circle shape that you draw on over it. So in this instance, for example, if we wanted to track that sticker, well, I could just, let's just draw that out and then I'm just gonna move it so that it's on top there. Now, all of these handles are essentially curvature handles. So where you have a corner, if you were drawing a square, those handles can make that corner more or less rounded. Okay, then next up, it has the layer itself. Let's call it sticker. There we go. And then you have the essentials panel and your layer properties. Leo, your layer, your layer properties. Your essentials and your layer properties panel. Now, all the magic happens in the Essentials panel. Here you have, similarly to the original tracker, but with more options here, you have Transform, Scale, Rotate, Skew, and Perspective. Now, you'll notice that I don't need a second tracker for this, and the reason for that is that Mocha doesn't track individual items. Mocha is a planar tracker, which means that it will track a plane. The entire selection that you've made is all tracking at the same time. It's looking at everything and shifting it around. It's not using one source and one source to determine what kind of shift in perspective there is. And it's also important to remember that these are all additive, meaning that you can start with just transform, but if you wanna transform and rotate, you've gotta have transform scale and rotate. So they're additive from left to right. And depending on what you want to do, you may not need all of these things. You may not need the skew and the perspective. You may just need transform if you want to track some text to it. Or if it's an item that's kind of revolving in a 3D sort of space, well, then you'll probably want to just do all of them. Let's try all of them. Then when you're ready to actually start tracking, here are your magic buttons. You've got T forward, which you press, and it's just going to run through, run through that footage. And look at how fast it's going through those frames. 
and you can see there it says GPU tracking sticker in frame. So it's using the GPU as well as the CPU. After Effects is a program that is pretty much entirely CPU driven, apart from certain effects that have to do with light, shadows, and color, where it will use your GPU. But this is able to use the GPU's power, and in this case, I have a pretty powerful GPU. It's able to use the GPU's power to help track that item, which is probably why it's just a little bit faster than or considerably faster than the CPU using the conventional tracker to track its thing, its thing. And so you can see here, my hand comes in, and so that perspective of that sticker is about to change. The position, the scale, the rotation of it is about to change. Let's see how it handles that. And it's gone from frame. And as soon as it's gone from frame, you'll see all these angry pop-ups that say it terminated prematurely and that one or more layers were not tracked properly, but that's just because it's exited the frame, so there are no longer any planes for it to track. But if we select our sticker, you can see the area that it's been able to track in. And if you drag along, you can see that it has tracked that beautifully in a very, very short matter of time. Now, all you need to do to bring this data back into After Effects is save, so Control or Command S to save. You don't need to go up to File, Save, but you can if you want, just Save Project. You don't need to save it as anything because it's all saved within that project that you already are running in After Effects. Then you can close that window and now come down to Tracking Data. And again, this is sort of a top-down approach, so you're gonna start with Create Track Data. Here you see your sticker track that we did. Make sure that you activate this cog and then select that layer. Hit OK, and it's gonna create all of that tracking data. You can see it's put a, a bunch of pins there. Now we don't wanna use corner pin because corner pin is really using the planar tracker benefit of using Mocha, which is to essentially add a sticker or a label or a photo or something onto that plane. You'll see this in films all the time where you've got a building that has a whole new set of branding on it where the original building doesn't have that. When they filmed it, it didn't have that. They've added that in in post using a planar tracker, probably like Mocha or something else. But in this case, I'm just showing you the simple tracking as a means of wasting less time than the original tracker does. So we're just gonna go down here to export option and instead of corner pin, we're gonna choose transform. Then we're gonna export that layer to null. The source, not the mask, not the effects in the mask, just the source and apply export. And now our null is tracked to that sticker. So if we wanted to come along to text and make a label for that, it's the Godox, what is it again? Godox X Pro S for Sony. Godox X Pro S, there we go. Let's shift that up into position, let's say there because we want to track along it. Now we just take this little parent tool, parent it to the null, and now it tracks. Lovely stuff, I'm getting loads of text messages here. And you can see when my hand comes in to pick it up, it tracks along with it. So that is pretty awesome, and that was very, very quick to do. And because it's using a GPU as well as a CPU, it's gonna turn through your footage very quickly, no matter how big, how small your footage is. It's not gonna have any problems working through a 4K clip in a way that this tracker, this native tracker, well, sometimes it really does. If it's an H.264 4K clip, you're gonna be there all day with this tracker, whereas Mocha, plow right through it. Let me know in the comments if you'd like a tutorial on using Mocha as a proper planar tracker, so adding stickers to things or a different sign on top of a building that moves in the perspective of the shot. Just let me know in the comments below if that's something you like. Give this a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.